Welcome to the July edition of Talk to Terry. I'm Terry Swanson, broker of Results Realty Services. And this month what we're going to do is we're going to look at some things that are working and some that are not. Now, what I was doing is I was swimming in a pool and what we're trying to do is assimilate. That was the jumbo money situation. And the pool has shrunk down to a size that there's really not enough money in the pool to lend out there to create some stimulation in the sales for homes that are priced 500000 and up. This is going to be a problem that we need to focus on and realize what's going on on the north part of Atlanta and what our area of focus is going to be for this month. We're also going to take a look at just a couple things across the statistics from the country for the last couple months and we'll finish up this segment by looking at what are we going to look for in the future. I think when you see a look across the North Atlanta market, you're going to see some good things going on that you'll see signs that you know, things are definitely working well on the price range is below 500000 Sales are being stimulated and the months of inventory has come down. We looked at sales below 500000 and above 500000 across the North Atlanta market with Cobb, Cherokee, Gwinnett, North Fulton, Forsyth, and Dawson County. And I'm proud to say that below $500,000, the market's starting to balance out. Inventory has shrunk. The activity of pending sales has come up. When we look at the last three months of sales since April 1st to today, what we've seen is that across each of those areas, Forsyth County below $500,000, nine months worth of inventory. Gwinnett, 7.3 months worth of inventory. Cherokee, 9.2 months worth of inventory. Cobb, 7.4 months worth of inventory. North Fulton, 6.93 months worth of inventory. And Dawson County, unfortunately, we're still not seeing the pace of sales in either one of the price ranges, but you've come down to 18 months worth of inventory. So all of the counties or areas, except for Dawson County, are really doing well below $500,000. Now, where we're going to see the problem happen is loans above $417,000 are what we call jumbo money. And the problem is we've had the lenders have to restrict so much to protect their money, and we don't have enough investors buying mortgage-backed securities on jumbo loans. So this is going to be a problem that we have to focus on. Homes 500,000 and above. I'm going to cover in just a second before I go into the staggering numbers and the differences between what I just showed you below 500. I'm going to introduce you why things are happening and what we need to focus on and look forward to in the future. The numbers on the homes 500,000 and above that I'm going to show you are a reflection of what's going on in the lending world today. To get a loan above 417,000 or jumbo loan, you want to have to have a 720 credit score. If you don't have that, you're not going to be able to get a loan. You have to have 20 to 30 percent down depending on the area. You have to have a job making about $150,000 combined income. And in addition to that, you have to be willing to jump into the pool and take the risk today. So when you really break it down, there's not a lot of people that even can go out and qualify for a loan of above $417,000. So that's what's going to lead into the numbers I'm going to show you in just a second and where we really need to focus our efforts to help get cleaned up and stop the problem from happening of foreclosures. Now remember, the homes below 500000 they were all below 12 months of inventory. Actually, they were below 10, except for Dawson County. You look across the board here, homes above 500. what's the difference? Same areas. Forsyth County, you have 18 months of inventory above 500000 Gwinnett County, 28 and a half months worth of inventory. Cherokee County, 42 months worth of inventory when you get above 500000 Cobb County, 18 months worth of inventory. North Fulton, you're the shining star, 15 months worth of inventory. And Dawson County, 72 months worth of inventory. So you can see one that the lending practices of lenders protecting their money and not enough investors to buy mortgage-backed securities in that pool now we have the problem of trying to stimulate enough buyers to buy homes. Now if you have a home that's being marketed for sale, you might want to consider opening it up for lease or lease purchase if you really need to get rid of that home to purchase something else or move to where you need to go. Open the door so you can have more people come to your door and that's how you're going to get rid of the home. Sell it today, lease it today, do a lease purchase, get a little more outside the box. That's what we need to have happen for this price range as long as lenders aren't going to be releasing the requirements and loosening that money up. So what we're going to be paying attention to is one, the unemployment rates. As you can see, Georgia just the other day, 10.1% on the unemployment chart 
as you can see right here. We are in the worst areas for unemployment. We also have seen our, our area has now reached the red area for price declines. So as you can see the map right here, Georgia, a good part of where we are, is in the red. That's a significant decrease in prices. Now, that's a bad mark on one, but it's a good mark on the other because we should start to see those price declines start to stimulate some sales. And below 500,000, we're definitely reaching a balance. It's above 500,000 we need to pay attention to right now. But here's what you need to do. Pay attention. Mortgage rates have just dropped down again. They went up a little bit. They've come back down. There are great opportunities out there. Don't wait. If you find the right home at the right price for you and your family, that's really where you want to go ahead and make the decision because interest rates are great and deals are getting rampant out there just because of the overall situation. So pay attention and don't miss out on the opportunities. We're live. We're ready for action. We are engaged in the process of the game today. Talk to Terry signing out. Sincerely with passion. See you next time.